Meanwhile, Aquiram State's Malaria Elimination Program has expressed appreciation to the Governor of Aquiram State, His Excellency Pastor Umo Eno, for the recent increase in budgetary allocation towards malaria elimination efforts in the state. They also commended the Governor for intensifying efforts towards domestic resource mobilization for malaria intervention. The acknowledgement was made by the Aquarium State Elimination Program and its implementing partners during a stakeholders meeting held in Ikotek Bene local government area of the state to commemorate the 2024 World Malaria Day. ADBN correspondent Awes Ebo completes this report. Malaria, a major endemic public health disease in Nigeria, is preventable, treatable and curable. To address the issue of malaria in Akwaibom State, the state elimination program has stressed the importance of domestic funding for malaria program to improve its coverage on community outreaches. In commemoration of the 2024 World Malaria Day, the state malaria elimination team have organized a stakeholders meeting on domestic resource mobilization, DRM, to receive commitment from stakeholders for sustainable investment in malaria elimination to implement the National Malaria Strategic Plan of 2021 to 2025. Speaking on the need for domestic resource mobilization, Malaria Program Manager in the state, Dr. John Orock, explained that the gap in malaria elimination needs filling and should not be left to the state government alone. What we're looking at is how to fill the gap, the programmatic gap. You know that what we do is coordinate the malaria response in the state to ensure that we can reach everyone and achieve the malaria goals by having a malaria-free Nigeria. There are lots of approaches. One of the approaches is we increase the government support, but that still doesn't help fill the gaps. We have several things we need to do. On his part, Principal Investigator President Malaria Initiative Evolve, Professor Inyang Atan, stated that the possible exit of international donors due to fund fatigue has necessitated the clamor to domesticate resources for malaria elimination. What we are experiencing now in the country and globally is uh, funders, uh, external funders fatigue, mainly to malaria, and is um, time for the states and the national government to take up the battle to now see how they can sustain funding for the malaria program. Earlier, Director of Public Health in Aquaribom State, Dr. Etop Antiai, spoke on the possibility of getting more engagement from stakeholders, especially in the private sector, through awareness creation. For us to have that universal health coverage for all, where people will be able to access health care, you know, a lot more people need to come on board, you know, the private sector. Uh, I think if the private sector comes on board, they should be able to narrow that gap. Meanwhile, Executive Secretary Akwaibom State Primary Health Care Development Agency, Dr. Eno Atta, said that the main strategy employed to engage local businesses and industries to support malaria intervention in the state is that of advocacy. There's so much more that the local businesses can do, but it's like a shopping list. This is, these are the list of acts and this is where we need support and that way the local businesses will know what to do. For instance, it's not just the anti-malarials, the medications. The other things, they're the insecticide treated nets, they're information, education and um, communication um, activities that they can support with. This meeting was about um, engaging them more deeply and letting them understand the different areas, the different groups that need to be focused on. We talked about the vulnerable groups and um, that's basically what we're doing. So that's the strategy. They first of all need to know what it is, and then they'll now know how they can come in. The event rounded off with partners across various sectors like the media, religious organizations, pledging support to fund the Malaria Elimination Initiative in the States. Ariel Roswagene Ebo, ADBN News.